67% of the women in music industry say that they've been sexually harassed or assaulted. And those are the people who are actually reporting it. In my mind, it always goes to the 33% that are not reporting, mm -hmm. that are experiencing this in silence, and they're, they're feeling alone. So it's really important to let the community know what's available and how they can access it. Just the places that you are putting yourself to do your craft, right? You're in, mm -hmm. you're leaving nightclubs at four o'clock in the morning, oftentimes by yourself. You're in places that are fueled with drugs and alcohol because that's just part of it, and so that puts you at risk. Um, you're, you might be the lone female in a group of all men who don't understand that you are at risk. Because after the Me Too movement started, and I was going into the music venues here in Austin to ask, like, what what can Sims do to support you and your staff? Like, how can we help you? Not necessarily with an eye on Me Too, and that was something that kept coming up over and over again, is I don't know how to respond. And then these men saying, well, I had no idea this was happening to yeah. so many women. And as that whole movement was happening, thankfully many of these men were turning to the women in their life, and almost 100% of the men told me 100% of the women in their life had, had, had been assaulted yep. or inappropriately touched or harassed in some way. And to watch that sort of like light bulb go off for an entire subset of the population, right, who don't have to deal with this every day. Mm -hmm. they, they don't know what it's like to deal with being at risk and, and feeling like your safety is constantly in question. Um, and so earlier I said, you know, finding the language and, and how to communicate with those men around you who maybe you are on tour with. Mm -hmm. How do you talk to them about an event happening that maybe made you feel unsafe and how they can support you in your safety? And, and then taking the time when it's appropriate to explain why you felt unsafe, right? So that they can understand. We can't just expect them to get it without any language involved. It's so important to share what you need with those around you. That's your family, your coworkers, your peers, what have you, the music venues. It's very important for us as women to speak up about what our needs are. That I think can get in the way for women, not just on a personal level, is like, I wanna hang. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I wanna be one of the dudes when I'm out there. You know, I really do. But I can't forget that I'm not. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, at the end of the day, I'm not. I'm a woman with a vagina. Yeah. <laughs> and people are looking at me. Yeah. You know, I'm up on stage or I'm behind the merch table or I'm. You know, it's stupid to load out to the van by yourself. It just don't be stupid, you yeah. know? Don't do not do those things. Take the steps that you need to take. Communicate with your bandmates. Hopefully, you're playing with and traveling with people that you love and you trust and you feel safe communicating with. 